What's up, Modern Day Marine? I want to give you a quick tour of IBM Multi-Cloud Manager, which is available on IBM Kubernetes Clouds and will soon be released for Red Hat OpenShift in Q4 2019. Multi-Cloud Manager is part of the IBM Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management. IBM Cloud Packs are trusted containerized IBM software built to be deployed on the Red Hat OpenShift container platform. This software delivery model simplifies delivery, installation, and management, as well as adds portability and a popular common platform for the software. The Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management is just one of the packs which together make up a full range of cloud capabilities, runtimes, and middleware. The Cloud Pack for Multi-Cloud Management is for organizations with edge cloud, multi-cloud, or hybrid cloud architectures. It helps make sense of what was previously a complicated collection of independent clouds and gives you the power to deploy your assets as close as possible to your end user. Here's the main dashboard for IBM Multi-Cloud Manager. It's basically a single control plane for monitoring and provisioning across multiple clouds. You can see the clusters I am managing across the top. Several clusters are in major cloud providers, as well as several private clusters that I have named to represent marine aircraft wings, each with a dev and prod cluster at each location. Below that, you can see more breakdown like how many nodes and pods are running. That can be expanded to give you a full breakdown per cloud. Going down further, you have a visualization of per core CPU utilization, pod health, cluster policy compliance, and other things like memory and storage metrics. This can all be drilled down into for more details and even filtered to just show a subset of your clouds. This is the catalog where I can self-service entire deployments from. This is a library of software assets either provided by IBM, off-the-shelf software, or custom software built by you. I can use this catalog to deploy software across all of my clusters. The items on the menu are both containerized Kubernetes deployments and infrastructure as code using Terraform. I have dozens of containerized middleware and runtimes, as well as entire VM-based software stacks. Deploying an application to one or all the clouds I am managing is as easy as selecting a version, configuring some parameters designed by the template creator, selecting the cloud or clouds I want to deploy it to, and clicking Deploy. The application will be created nearly instantly. I can then go to the details of that application. From here, I can scale resources, roll back, or upgrade versions without downtime. I can see that the provisioning is complete and I can browse to it. This is a simple hello world, but a much larger application uses the same steps. I can deploy this to one or all of my remote clouds around the world for local users if I wanted to. I can deploy infrastructure as code in the same manner. Here I am deploying a software stack to AWS. After I start the process in IBM Multi-Cloud Manager, I can watch it in the dashboard of my AWS cloud. Even though it is in the AWS cloud, end users still deploy and manage the service through this interface. Thus, IBM simplifies and unifies the multi-cloud experience and gives the end user more power with less complexity. So now you have seen that I can deploy both containerized and legacy software across multiple clouds. Each of the clouds connected to this multi-cloud manager is also its own independent cloud. This means that I can centrally monitor and manage edge clouds, while the users of the edge clouds still have the ability to self-service. Thus, they can operate independently when disconnected from the internet or wide area network. Let's take a look at a topology of all of these clusters. This is one of my favorite features as it gives an architectural representation of your clusters. I can see my cluster assets and their relationships to each other. I can filter based on data center or cluster for any number of attribute assets like type. This is an incredibly powerful tool for people like network engineers. I can very quickly identify all the places my clusters have internet connectivity and see what deployments and services are involved in that. A challenge with multi-cloud use is managing cost and asset utilization. IBM Cost and Asset Manager simplifies this task with a unified dashboard. I can track costs over time across all my clouds. This information can be filtered as well as exported to billing tools. Another powerful tool is this heat map that shows cost versus utilization. This heat map instantly shows that I have several very expensive assets that are underutilized, AKA oversized, and I have some assets that are constantly overutilized and could use some more computing power. It would benefit my users and save me a lot of money by scaling back the oversized assets and adding compute power to my most used assets. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you can't catch me on the conference floor this year, send me an email and we'll discuss how Multi-Cloud Manager can work for you.